Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people watching it will be dumbfounded, Anita, at this. Well, they I mean, say lies, sure they lies and statistics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've seen all of these headlines, haven't we, over the last month or so. So, I mean, obviously, that is not the full story. Right, and lots of conflicting headlines. Sometimes we're told that crime's going up, sometimes we're told that crime's going down. Well, let me tell you about the crime survey for England and Wales, yeah. because this has retained its kite mark. They don't get their stats from the police. They get their stats by talking to members of the public. They've so, victims. Victims of yeah. crime. They interviewed 50,000 households. And even the Met Police say that the information that they get is consistently different and demonstrates the difference between the levels of crime recorded by the police and the experience of mm -hmm. people. Well, so then, what, yeah. what did they say? Well, they found that household crime has, is down by 10%. Mm -hmm. Personal mm -hmm. crime has also fallen. That's down 9%. But shoplifting is up 4%. Okay. So, you okay. mean, that, that's come from them. And, and also, they get to talk to people and they get a very different experience and they will hear about things like domestic abuse or cyberbullying yes. or whatever, stuff that people might, won't necessarily open up to when they talk to the police. No, they might be more open. Yeah. 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 So there's going to be an inquiry, as we heard in the film there, but what do they hope to actually achieve then? OK, so, yes, this has been requested by the Home Affairs Select Committee. Um, uh, they requested it last May and it's uh, going to be undertaken by the HMIC, which is the Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary. So what they'll be doing is investigating crime data and its integrity. And they'll be doing that a number of methods. They'll be um, they'll go to control rooms, uh, referrals to specialist investigation departments and other public bodies, or they'll go directly to officers and interview them and speak to them and really kind of get under the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the first uh, release of the information will come come to us in spring, but the full report will be out in autumn, and I'm sure yeah. we'll be updating people. Well, obviously we that. saw Tony there talking to an ex policeman, but mm -hmm. what have the actual police force said about this? Well, we got in touch with all 43 police off, um, uh, forces in England and in Wales. 21 of them replied. Mm -hmm. Most of them echoed what the Association of Chief Police Officers have said, which is accurate crime stats are essential and the service um, is working to make crime stats more transparent. Yep. But the Met. The Met, yes, absolutely. The Met have also spoken to us and they have said they do not support the inappropriate downgrading of crimes and they have a number of checking processes in place to ensure that crime is classified correctly. But here's the important bit that they said to us. Um, they're looking into the allegations that have been made and they refute that attempted burglary has, has and still is routinely recorded as criminal damage as mm. means of lowering official crime stats. They also refute the practice of nodding. So that's come from the Met to us okay. directly. Well, thanks, Anita. Okay. It'll be really interesting to see what does happen to those statistics mm. over the next few years, whether they go up or down, whatever. But anyway, this week, uh, Mids.